Um, in this video, I'm going to go through two um, examples of quadratic sequences. So these are sequences that come after linear or what we call arithmetic sequences. So this is when the common difference doesn't pop up from the first um, subtraction. Um, so let's start with this example. The method is going to be slightly weird and quite different from how we do arithmetic, but um, just if you just remember these steps, then it's um, easy to complete. So the first thing you're going to do is do what you've always done, which is just find the common difference. So um, be careful of the signs. So in this case, I'm doing negative 3 minus and negative 6. So negative 3 minus minus 6, so that's 3. And then I'm taking a, again, be careful of the signs, 2 minus negative 3, so I have a 5. And then 9 minus 2, which is a 7. So if it was an arithmetic sequence, then this would be the same common difference, but it's not. So what we do is we take another difference. And in this case, we notice that it's 2. Um, if the second difference is constant, then we have a quadratic sequence. And what you do in this case is, because it's quadratic, so you're going to have something to the power of 2. But I want to know what the coefficient is. The coefficient comes from these numbers. So what you're going to do is take this number and then divide it by 2. Uh, and obviously in this case it's going to be 1. So the coefficient is 1. So this is the beginning of my nth term. So this is the formula. I need a formula somehow for this arithmetic, for this quadratic sequence. And it's something n squared. Um, so this something is 1. If, for example, you got a common difference here as, um, let's say, um, the common difference of the two numbers was um, 12, then you're going to end up dividing 12 by 2 and you get a 6, and so you're going to write 6 and squared. So just take whatever common difference you have and divide it by 2. Um, so we get a 1, so this is r n cubed. Next, what we're going to do is a bit of an odd step, but it's something you're going to use um, every time. So we're going to create a table. You're going to write your n, your term. You're going to take whatever you got here. You're going to write n cubed, If it, sorry, n squared. If it was 2n squared, 5n squared, whatever it was, just write it here. Um, and then you're going to take... Um, the subtraction, which I'm going to explain now. The n is just the position number, so your first term, second term, third term, fourth term, um, we have four terms here. And then the terms are your actual numbers, so we have negative 6, negative 3, 2, and 9. The n squared is you basically substituting this n in here. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is two is 4, sorry, 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. And uh, if this was 2n squared, you know how to substitute numbers in there, so just make sure you do the correct substitution. But the n's come from here. And the subtraction now is going to be term minus n squared, so the second row minus the third row. And again, be careful with the sign. So negative 6 minus 1 will be negative 7. Negative 3 minus 4 will be negative 7. 2 and minus 9 will be negative 7, and so on. So what you notice is that you're getting a common difference here. If you get a common difference, so if I... Um, if I take a common difference, it's going to be zero. Um, but if you, if you get a constant number, then you are just going to add it in front of this n cubed. So the what we got so far was n, sorry, n squared. Um, and then whatever you add here comes from this um, subtraction, from this row, the subtraction row. And in this case, it's a constant term, so all you're going to put in front is a negative 7. And you can check your answer. If I do n cubed, n squared, sorry, 1 squared, um, 1 squared minus 7 is going to give me negative 6, 2 squared minus 7 is going to give me negative 3, 3 squared minus 7 is going to give me 2, 4 squared minus 7 is going to give me 9. So we have our term. Um, 
So this is when you have a constant number. Now, what if this wasn't a constant number and it was something different? So um, let's say we have um, let's say we have this. So we have three, nine, seventeen, and twenty-seven. So let's take the first difference. So hopefully you can pause the video and try the first uh, steps until the subtraction. So that would be good practice for you. And then we take the second difference and we get a two. So the second difference is a second difference is a two. And then two divided by two is just one. So we have n squared as our first term. Uh, note that, for example, if you get the second difference equals to 1, then you still have to do the divide. So 1 divided by 2 will give you 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. So your coefficient would be 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. So now we create our table. We have n. We have the term. We have n squared, which we're taking from here. And then we have the subtraction. So we have one, two, three, four. Our numbers are three, nine, seventeen, and twenty-seven. And then our n squared is just squaring these numbers: four, nine, sixteen. And then I'm going to subtract them. So three minus one will be two. Nine minus four will be five. And then 17 minus 9 is going to be 8. And then 27 minus 16 will give me 11. So notice how it's not a constant term anymore. Now I know that I have an n squared here and I need to put something in there. If it was a constant term, like the negative 7, I'll just plug in the... Sorry about this. Um, I'll plug in the negative 7. But that is not the case. Uh, what we have here is an arithmetic... Sequence. So we have another sequence here, and you should know how to find an arithmetic sequence. If I can find the formula for this arithmetic sequence, then I'm going to plug it in here. So the subtraction, the sequence for the subtraction, is what goes into the rest of your nth term formula. So let's try and consider this as a sequence on its own. So I'm going to hide the upper part and just look at this on its own. Um, I have a difference of... Um, three every time so using my knowledge of arithmetic sequence I'm just gonna write 3n and then what you're gonna do is go backwards from 2 so 2 minus 3 um, and that's gonna give you a negative 1 so I'm gonna add a negative 1 in there you can either use this technique or the formal technique of finding the common difference, which is un, u1, n minus 1, d. You can use this, simplify it, and you're going to get 3n minus 1. So the subtraction has a sequence of 3n minus 1, and I'm going to add the 3n minus 1 here just immediately. So this is where the um, subtraction is not as simple as it is. So this is the same method you're going to use for cubic sequences. So similarly for cubic sequences, if you reach the end and say it's a quadratic sequence or another cubic sequence, um, you know how to find it. So it's just a build up from each of the sequences. If you know the basics, you know how to find the others. Um, so just the method is always consistent. Just remember to divide the second difference by two follow through and then the subtraction is another sequence either a linear arithmetic sequence like this or a constant term as such